fucking, let's talk about little fucking creep fucking cog. Now co listen, listen, I'm to guys, the point now cog with Cog is, where is, he's twisted. Like he's actually sick in the it's head. Like I don't think he illness. can handle being online. Yeah, he should. And probably like be it's it's not on us that he does this. This is his own fault because he's sick in the fucking head. Yeah, but it's to the point now where it's like. I honestly feel bad bullying him because he clearly can't handle it. He's f***ed up mentally. Like, this is what he's doing now is he's got, like, uh, Dan's five-year-old daughter on live stream. Oh, uh, Not too excited about this, but let's have a quick look over guys, this. Guys, this is actually, look, Cog spent yesterday crying about me for four hours. And, you know, faking donos and whatever. The one guy who did a real dono took a 45% payday loan which means he paid 145 for this dono yeah which cog gets only 70 dollars of it's just so it's that to, to own us when we destroy him every day like it's like whoa cog like tweeted out like 40 unhinged tweets about how he has more viewers and money than us so it, now it's we're just like he just denies reality now we're arguing with like a toddler well it's not even like it is honestly like it's 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 just sad. Yeah. It's just a delusional guy who doesn't accept reality. He's like, no, my hundred viewers definitely pay me more than you it's guys do. Man. And it's like, Cog, yeah, no like what's wall. more likely there? Like that or that you're faking the donations, Cog? Like, let's be real. That's what's going on. You know, like, Cog, you know, we have all sorts of He's like, you don't road. make any money from the clip channel because... They're swearing, mind you, it's all censored. It's all censored. So Cog has it's even all watched one of the clips Wait. that he's seething about so much. Open up the clip channel on your phone right now. Play a video. Ad will be immediately started. So they're not making any money off it. And it's like, this guy is just like about pocket watching and crying. But hang on. He said to Flaked, our clip channel manager, he said, because someone put a tweet putting both analytics, right? Yeah. The clip channel is at 700,000 views, growing ex like crazy fast, right? Cog, in what is it, 13, 12 years, 160K views total. Yeah. We have 700K in six months. Seven times all the views that he's ever In 13 years. In 13 years. And then two months ago, he was c comparing analytics with the Kino Cathedral channel and yeah. his channel. Yeah. The views, right? And now, yesterday, he's going, well, the analytics don't even matter. No, of course not. What do you mean? He always shifts the goalposts. Always. He's always trying, oh, it's where I'll sit, it's where I'll chimney sweep. It's like, Cog, get a life, man. Get a f***. This is the most terminally online this shit. you Watch, just watch this. Just watch this. Is this a guy who's winning online? Here we go. Say bye. What's that? What did you make today? What happened? So this is so this is this is Cog trying to get a five year old girl to interact with his live stream to say bye bye A logs. Yeah. This is something that we made fun of Brian Dunn for doing, which did happen. No matter what anybody wants to say. Persip will now admit that it's real, but he said it wasn't real for a long time. It was real. This is unhinged. You're having a five-year-old girl interact with your the live sector. stream in the dirtiest sector there is. Like, just the most disgusting topics being brought up, filthy, crass language, all the fuck that works. Oh, and he no, wants to have this that little girl, and he subjects this little girl, by the way, to all of his profanity, weed smell, joblessness, five -year -old. and crying every fucking day. And he thinks that this is a win somehow. Yeah. This is crazy. It, and, and, and look what he does. By the way, it's now proven, basically, that she watch, watches what we say. Well, that really makes me, like, creeped out. It, it, it's like... Like, it actually, it actually kind of disturbs me I don't want way. minors watching the no, show. I don't want kids watching Under this show. Under 18, do Certainly not watch. Certainly not a five-year-old. Apparently has Creep. to be exposed to us what Ralph says and what this guy says every Ralph's day. Because yeah, and just and like the most disgusting shit in the world Ralph does and says that this kid has Drug to use. listen to because they don't have they they live four people to one room. Yeah, there's no escape from it. Cog is streaming like five, six, seven, eight hours a day, hollering all this bullshit, and then in his spare time. 
firing up our stream and sitting down a little five-year-old girl in front of it that's not even his daughter. It's Dan's yeah. daughter. Yeah. What the f*** is Dan doing? Dan's sick in the head. Dan is a serious dereliction of duty as a parent to allow this shit to happen. And then he's like teaching the kid like to make fun of me. And then he's like, look at a five, look a five year old is dunking on you. Cog, that's on. That's, that's weird. That's not You're like an L sick. on me, Cog. That's like an L on you, man. You're gross. It's You're actually sick. insane. And by the way, uh, we know you're faking donuts. We're not. It doesn't f even matter. It doesn't even matter at this point. This because is like now the, kids are involved. It's sick. Cog, man. you brought a five year old. To watch Ralph Well, watch and he us? uses it as a prop, right? It's like a prop. He's like, oh, look what a family man I am. Look what a wholesome family man I am. Oh, I have a five-year-old girl. You can't make fun of me. But it's not even your own daughter. Yeah. It's Dan's daughter with an Indian mail-order bride, buddy. Like, and it's just sick. And it's the same thing the Vickers do, using Xander as a prop. Let's be real. These people love to use children as a prop for their own ends online, and any normal person is disgusted. Even degenerates, the lowest of the low in the sector, f gross there fuckers. There was people for, who are like hate this shit. You know, they're, they're you know they're like like you know a logs who are will do the grimiest things. Even they're DMing me like, buddy, this I, grosses I hate me this. out. Like I'm not even kidding, guys. Watch this. Say bye. What's that? What did you make today? What happened? Oh. Who's that? Is that Dan's wife? That's like Dan's wife. And she's like, what Look did what you, you make for today? your school project? So the kid's school project is a picture of me. The kid is drawing me. A five-year-old. Like, Cog, are you f***ing f in the Cog, head? Cog, you're f***ing You're right. actually f***ing in the head. You're, you're having a five-year-old for their school project draw me with like <laughs> the words fatty, fatty, fatty. Ten? And it's like, yeah. yes, Cog, I am fat. I don't recommend that anyone else be as fat as I am. It's not healthy for you or whatever, but I never claim to be anybody's role model or that anybody should do what I do in terms of being Bro. obese. Meanwhile, Cog, you want to talk about being a role model? You've never held a job in your life. You've never paid taxes. You're a drug addict. You're a leech off the taxpayer in government housing for most of your life. Your brother calls you a pedophile. You're a smoking weed all day stinking up this house exposing the child to secondhand smoke will you show them sector videos and have them do school projects on ppp for senior kindergarten some role model you are buddy get a grip get a life get a real job get the like you think winning on the internet is this important it doesn't matter enough to me to do shit like that but it matters enough to you. Imagine I don't have to make fun of you online, Cog, to make money or to have viewers. I was doing perfectly fine before all of this. But Cog is such a low-life, bottom-feeding bum it's that he has to involve children in an internet beef. Look at I had my kid do a... Not even his kid. Dan's kid do a school project on a fat guy online. On a it's show just they should like, not, come to reality, sir. On a sir. show they should not be watching. Come to reality, Cog. Anyway, let's finish the show. PPP, that's it. Oh, uh, <laughs> she, she got into the point here where she was doing her letters today. As you can see, she's been learning so to write. So the kid's thinking about you. What? That's f***ing like, weird. It is weird, That's man. weird. Right, guys, there you go, right? But she got normal. to a point where she typed, uh... Types. Which she wrote, she wrote, sorry, PPP is the fattest. I mean, you can't. What's fattiest? It's fattiest. It's the fattiest. I'm going to send it to him. All right, don't worry. I'll see if I can get his address and we'll send it through to him, okay? Well, he wants to dox you. Know. But I mean, just cog, like, please, man. Get a f cog. You are actually twisted. No, I mean, it's Go not. watch it's Aim just... Aim again, you f weirdo. You f like that. It is just beyond. It's, I mean, how can Dan, like, condone this? Because Dan's like a f Does Dan even dude, know what's going on no, in his house? Because it's Dan's house and it's Dan's child. Yeah. Cog is just a f guest in the living room. Yelling at fat people online. Yeah. For a living. Like, get a grip, man. 
All right, anyway. moving on from COG, it's time for the Nick Fuentes update. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> the latest and greatest from Nick Fuentes. I had a nap before the show, and I told Ashton, I was like, I had a dream that we were going to do a podcast with him. See, sales COG is 41 and years old. You, you had a dream we're doing a podcast with me? You and mean it a was nightmare? Like, it was like, you mean a nightmare? It was scary, and it was like frenemies. What? You know, with H3 Maybe you shouldn't be telling these stories online, Andy. The story no, of, like, the nightmare where we're doing content with Nick Fuentes, like... <laughs> no, but we hated him, and we're like, it'll be good for views, like, we'll hate each other and stuff. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, what were you going to say? All right, let's He's see. He's 41. He's 41 years old. Cog, you are... That's... Imagine living to be 41 and never having worked a day in your life. <laughs> and then talking about who's a role model and who's not. By the way, you know what he was watching? Ralph's boring show. The one from yesterday? Yeah! So here's your Ralph update, by the way, guys. Ralph yesterday streamed... For 14, 14 hours. hours. He streamed, and I was up till 6 in the morning. Watching this and watching Fuentes and clipping it or whatever. Ralph actually made $200 in this time. That's it. He watched the movie. He didn't get one penny more during this whole time. And when he went to Robot Streamer to watch the movie, he maxed out at 25 viewers. Oh. During the entire stream on Robot Streamer, he had four messages in chat. Four. Oh. Four messages in chat. Was it eight all? And by the end, there were 14 people left, and one of them was me. That's Ralph's life. Oh. And it was the most boring, shitty stream. Super Rock stops you could stream possibly. Sniping. No, it's just terrible. Super and and he's not like, even I streaming today. And it's like there's all this drama going on with Vosh and H3H3 and and Tipster and Kethels and Contra Content. Points. Like there's there's stuff going on. Yeah. There's Fuentes stuff to cover. There's Beardson stuff to cover. Like there are things happening, but he just can't fire it up because he sucks. Yeah, he's a bum. He's talentless and he's unable to prepare anything. And he's going to die in poverty. It was really depressing. Like every few minutes, Ralph. I saw your DM. You're just he like just had to me. keep making like really sad statements where it's like, well, you know, it's not going so good for me right now. And he's like, he said directly, he said, my life is a mess. And he's like, there aren't very many people in this business who I like or can respect. I guess it's just a business for the lowest of the low scumbags like me. It was sad. It was fucking really sad. sad. Pathetic! So it was like, yeah, he had like a, a moment of clarity. Yeah. It's like a person in psychosis who like wakes up for a second and is like, wait, 